vision of our superintendent was to make sure that we are always on the cutting edge. And so with, being, with, with that in mind, he went forth and um, set forth a plan to where we can have an electronic interactive board in every class throughout our district. Here, Mr. Firstner was one of the first um, classrooms that receive an interactive display. Here we have a Clever Touch Plus. Um, this is 75 inch um, interactive display. It's an awesome tool. Right now I have my uh, Google Classroom uh, up and this is really instructions for my students. They have it here and they also have it on their Chromebooks as well. Touchscreen also gives the students choice. So it, if students who prefer using the screen have that option and they prefer using the mouse pad and the keypad, they have that option. So that also helps with their, their learning style. Where we actually get a chance to do a lot of interactive things with the board, um, our students um, get a chance to go here to do many things, um, including remediation and enrichment type activities. And it allows you to project images. And it, is it a touch screen? Is that yes, it is touch. Um, you can manipulate different objects. You can use PowerPoint slideshows, any form of technology. Um, for a whole class or you can use students. Students can come up and use it in smaller settings as well. It is a very useful tool in my class because I have to teach se several lessons at one time. So therefore, I try my best to allow the students to put the work up so I can see it and they can see it. And when they, um, at their desk, others can correct their own work. A lot of times students don't want to use the tools, but they find out that it is very useful. An actual fully equipped STEM lab. We've got our lovely desktop computers. Um, we were able to purchase um, materials that go with our standards that are just there to support because one of the... Design and modeling. And in that class, the kids are introduced to a design process where they had the chance to explore and get to understand what that process is. Once they uh, get a grasp of that concept, able to take on in many tasks and solve many problems. We air live from the office, but our goal is to use a green room so that we can have visitors on our news show. Our news team comes in every morning to get the announcement board ready, and we start our day with our news team. Here we have the uh, TV, but here we also, on this side, we have the interactive panel. So she's able to do multiple things oh. at one time. Our computers, we do Tinkercad, which is what we have on our prototype and our model, and we just put it on our computer so that it could like show it more realistic. Uh, when they finish building the blocks and designing the blocks, then they will come here and either send, upload their image into the um, 3D printer, or they will actually uh, save it to a flash drive and bring it and then um, put it into the 3D printer and print it out. This is a smaller design that we have. Um, this is, I think, our, fir our first year um, 3D printer. And then um, as uh, money became available to us, we then moved to the larger Z model, which is much more massive, as you can see, much more massive in size. And now they can do um, things like even faucet heads. They can design a faucet head like you have at your homes. And then once they, um, um, once they design that faucet head. This is our telemedicine machine. Um, once we get some kind of things going, we should be able to connect to Family Health Center, which okay. will allow us to set up appointments with the nurse practitioner at Family Health Center for students that might need an appointment for an ear infection, strep throat, anything like that, that saves the parents time and not having to schedule an appointment okay. and um, get it. Right now, this is connected to our high school. We have um, start, talked about doing a YouTube channel, and we've actually started that already. And in starting that, the first idea with the YouTube channel was to be able to do staff development and professional development, and so reinforcing of technology things that we are rolling out. Because one thing I think that is a detriment to technology is when you don't, when you brain present technology and you don't know how to properly implement the, the technology. So therefore, there has to be some professional, some professional development that is involved with that to bring everything together. And I believe that this is a great class and a great school at that. I get a good education, and I believe that I'll grow up to be something spectacular.